Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show you the team I'm going to use for this class trial in Slayer. Really, really good class, this one, so pop to the shop, tier one, grab yourself that. 30 gems, gets you a potion of enchantment, some more troops, some more Slayer XP, more gold, more class sigils, so it's all good. At tier five, there is the class mythic weapon. It's not that great, unfortunately. Death Dealer does damage to an enemy if the enemy is bleeding, deal double damage. There's a 10% chance to slay them, boosted by Doom Skulls at a times two ratio. What that means is, say for example, there was eight Doom Skulls on the screen, times two, that's 16, so you add 16 to that chance to slay, which is, in this case, that would be 26% chance. So still not great. It's okay, nothing fantastic though. Right, onto the team itself. You can fight the champions in any order like let's jump on emperor corvash first now just because this is the slayer class trial it doesn't mean to say you actually have to use that that class in your in your team you can use anyone you like you're well, quite welcome to use slayer class it's still very very good but i'm gonna have a bit of fun with assassin class with this team now the cool thing about assassin class is it has several different chances to just kill outright and we can have a little bit of fun with that with this team so what we're going to do, we're going to have a weapon like Sin's Harvest. Does damage to all enemies, then converts, in this case, yellow gems to Doom Skulls. So damage and yellow to Doom Skulls. Blood Hammer does damage to two strongest enemies and tr transforms blue to Doom Skulls to boost the damage. Moira does damage to a single target and converts green to Doom Skulls. So we have green, blue and yellow. To doom skulls really handy because we don't care about yellow at all in this team so converting them to a color which creates skulls is really good and we barely really care about green either because bone binder is really here just to have a summon should we need it so if you don't have the sins harvest then you can type in skulls into the search bar on weapons and it'll bring up all your different options regarding skull based weapons a lot of really really good ones here you can look for anything else that does damage to all and uh, creates changes yellow to doom skulls for example that would work really really well but there's several other options that are really cool now, things like this would work as well not bad at all convert three gems to booty gems then convert all yellow gems to doom skulls so lots of options if you don't have the sins harvest this one's good the eighth sin if your life is really high then that's going to be effective. Pull an enemy and myself to the front. Create six skulls and eight more if my life is higher. Pretty good. Writhing Staff is good, but it can be a bit hit and miss because eight skulls is an okay amount. It's just not tons. But it does have the safety net of entangling the first enemy when it does it. So yeah, lots of choices regarding skulls. But let's roll with this team and see how it does. Right, so banner for this. I'm going to go for the Abyssal Banner. Plus two purple, plus one red, minus one yellow. Get that weapon charged up nice and fast. And look, I say, assassin class for this. Can have some fun with this. 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy when I deal skull damage. Is good for a start because we are concentrating on skull damage with this team. In the talents, we can have things like hunt. Hunters mark a random enemy on four or five of a kind, which we'll be doing sometimes on those color to skull conversions chill of death when an enemy dies frees another random enemy can grab a bit of gold every turn can create a dark storm at the start of battle which is purple which is good for the weapon stealthy can't be targeted swift curse death mark a random enemy at the start so anybody can die just outright and rising shadows seven percent chance to assassinate the last enemy when another enemy dies and those things could combine that 10 percent chance to kill from skulls at the beginning you can get that and get Rising Shadows at the same time and with Swift Curse. It's really cool when several things happen at once. Right, let's jump into a few battles then. Missed out the first set of battles because they're crazy easy. No need to show them. These are still going to be pretty straightforward, but hey-ho. Right, you can take any skull hits which are there when you've got a team like this. Because remember, we've got that 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy. And look at that. That was that Rising Shadows at the same time. That's exactly what I was saying a moment ago. Assassin class, that was just ridiculous. That was like, we got the kill from the skull. We got the 10% chance to assassinate the last enemy. And Rising Shadows came in at the same time. Absolutely insane stuff. If we had another skull drop then, that would have been just hilarious. Because the game would have been like a one second game. That would have been absolutely mind blowing. Anyway, let's just um, 
finish her off. She must be wondering what happened. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, it's a shame we didn't get a skull drop then. That's so. That is really rare. That happens like that. You get the 10% uh, chance of the quick kill, as well as rising shadows coming at once. Oh, it could have been swift curse. I didn't actually notice what happened there. I have to check it back. But either way, we were one random skull cascade away from what would have been a one-second game, which is just insane. Right, let's throw me a bit. What was I doing? Trying to get mana and stuff. Yeah, you take skull hits if they're there, but otherwise try and charge up the weapon. Uh, not much going on with our colours. Game's being a bit mean to us. There's a nice little quick combo, though. And these are going to finish off anyway. Yeah, that was awesome, that first game. Three quick kills. So grab that before match. It's good for our Moira. She does damage to an enemy converts green to, do to Doom Skull, so nothing much going on there at the moment. She can be patient and just hang back, see what happens. It's better to check every every turn, see what's going on with those skull conversions. Don't rush through it, but I do like to take these skull hits because it is fun when that there's multiple chance of kills just come in. So we've got yellow to doom skulls at the same time, nothing doing. Green to doom skulls as well, nothing doing. But we do have blue to doom skulls next round, which we have here now, so that's good. We'll do that. And we had more coming if anybody had the cheek to survive. Garnock. Handsome looking fella. To his mum. Anyway. Probably. Anyway. Right, the weapon is ready. So we have yellow to skulls as well as damage to all, so you can go for that. And then they've got the others up as well. We've got green to skulls look with here. Really cool. We'll do that. That's going to absolutely finish him off because that was a guaranteed extra turn at the same time. Hubbly chubbly. Chief Stronghorn. The big and all. Chief Big Stronghorn. That's going to start on purple everywhere. Looks like there might be a decent cascade there somewhere. Right. Yellow to skulls, not really. Oh, someone's just um, got the fudge out of here. So we can do this. It's not a four match, but there's a lot of skulls everywhere. We'll do damage to two of them at the same time and finish off anyway. Well, I've jumped forward a little bit, but yeah, still happening pretty quickly with this very heavy skull-based team. It is quite a lot of fun as well. I do like it when several of those different things happen at once on those quick kill chances. All right, what we got here? I think we'll grab some more brown. Leave some green on the board. Hopefully it will help our Moira. Uh, if not, have we got yellow to skulls? Yes, we have. We'll do that then. And the cool thing about that is, when you do that, the likelihood is, you can leave something set up for one of your other troops. Like, this is now great for Moira. And we can now... Oh! Cheeky Agile. Well, take that then. Be on your way. Cheeky. Deep Borer. Somebody who's not very interesting at all. Uh, let's grab some purple. Uh, an awful lot of colours I don't want on the board. Ah, there's some cheeky purple at the bottom. I'll have, I'll have some of them. 
Do I set up some nice yellow here? Look, we'll absolutely go for that. The good thing about Doom Skulls is as well, they generate a little bit of mana as well, which is nice. He's going to regret being bought into the game. And let's just finish off. And all that green look for Moira was perfectly set up afterwards as well. It's really cool when you get multiple colours of troops that change a gem colour to a Doom Skull. And the reason is because you've removed... I should have taken that skull hit there at the bottom. Uh, a colour off the board by that conversion, you've... Basically giving yourself, your team, a better chance of getting a match on the next go. No yellow going on. So we'll just take a general skull whack. Not quite got the green. We'll take that first. See if it sets us up for anything. Uh, not really. Do we have blue? Nope. We'll just do that instead that'll do right last one now what i think of it there's a bit of a bug in the game in the moment which may manifest itself now when you try and put in a weapon sometimes especially if you put in the team code like if i show the team code here like this then it's going to show since harvest look is blocked out as if you can't use it and that only happens when you type in that that code there or copy and paste it from the description but you can add it in manually so that will work if you put it in manually but you get that weird error message if you try and copy in the the team code sometimes really weird it wouldn't be gems of war if it didn't have a few little bugs would it things just wouldn't be the same if everything worked properly do we have yellow to skulls nope yeah, we've got blue to skulls next round, but still nothing too much going on like that. We've got a single whack there, but nothing fantastic. Again, you can be patient on these things. See what happens the next round. Uh, nothing too fantastic again. Doesn't always happen like that. You can actually wing it a bit if you want and then just generate some skulls like that. But again, don't like to do it. You do like to keep that there for reasons of um, summoning. Must have something now, surely. What I do. <laughs> All three of them died at once. Absolutely nuts. So Assassin Class, that's the sort of fun that can happen with Assassin Class. Really cool. Right, there's a video. If you enjoyed it, then it's useful or helpful. Be really cool if you bash that like and subscribe button. It really does help. But most of all, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you again next time. Bye for now.